Hi, welcome to Wise Guy. For balancing combustion reaction, we need first identify the combustion reaction is compound plus oxygen produce water and carbon dioxide. So for example, let's say there are four examples. The first one look at is C3HA plus oxygen and produce water and carbon dioxide, right? And carbon dioxide, water, doesn't matter which one right the first. And this is uh, exactly the same with the definition, you know, that this is a combustion reaction. The second is Fe, which is iron, plus oxygen produced iron-3 oxide because the product is not carbon dioxide and water, so that's why this is not the combustion reaction. The third one and the fourth one you can see and react with compound, react with oxygen, produce carbon dioxide and the water. So the third one, fourth one are also a combustion reaction. Okay, once you identify it, then you can follow the steps. The first one, balancing combustion reaction is balance carbon, then balance hydrogen, last one balance oxygen. And let's try those examples. For example, the first example C3HA and react with oxygen produced carbon dioxide and water. So first we will balance carbon, so balance carbon. So step one, balance carbon. And before reaction, you can see three carbon. After reaction, this is one carbon. That's why we need multiply by three to CO2. So this is multiply three here. Then you got three carbon. Before reaction, three carbon. After reaction, three carbon. The second step, balance hydrogen. Hydrogen. And before reaction, there are eight hydrogen. After reaction, is two hydrogen. That's what we need to multiply by four to make eight, right? So multiply four to H2O and become eight hydrogen. So hydrogen balance. The last one is balance oxygen. The reason is oxygen before reaction is oxygen here. After reaction, there are two parts. One is in carbon dioxide, the other in water. So after we multiply three and multiply four, then the number of oxygen has been changed. So let's look at the before reaction, you have two oxygen. You have two oxygen. Now, you have three times two is six oxygen. And the four times one is four oxygen, you have 10 oxygen. To balance from 2 to 10, obviously this is just multiply by 5 to this oxygen, right? right? So that's why you multiply 5 and then everything okay now. I double check and this is the before reaction 3 carbon, after reaction 3 carbon. And before reaction, eight hydrogens after reaction eight hydrogens 
And before reaction 10 oxygen, now you have 6 and 4, a total 10. So this equation has been balanced. Second example, let's see. Same thing. <coughs> we balance carbon, 9 carbons before reaction, so 1 carbon, so we multiply 9 to CO2, so this is multiply 9, okay? And second, balance hydrogen by multiply, this is 10 hydrogen, after that 2 hydrogen, so we need to multiply 5. Right? Multiply 5 to H2O. Okay? And last step, <coughs> balance oxygen. And the last step in this question, a little bit tricky, but uh, let's see if <coughs> we can figure out it's not difficult. Before reaction, you have one oxygen in this compound and the two oxygen as oxygen gas. After the reaction, you have 18 and this is the 5. So let's write down, this is the one oxygen. The before reaction is one oxygen <coughs> plus and two oxygen, but we are going to multiply some number here but we don't know which number we're going to multiply. That's why we put, if we put x here, okay. And this is the x times two, right? So before reaction, we have one oxygen because we don't want to put any number here. If you do this job, put some number two or three, it will change the number of carbon or an oxygen, uh, hydrogen. So that's why we leave this is one oxygen and plus we just figure out this number. So the, the coefficient here we set in as x. So two oxygen multiply x. Then equals to, after reaction you have nine times two, which is 18, right? Nine times two is 18, we can write here, 18, and plus this is 5, so that's why we solve it, it looks like an equation. We solve 1 plus 2x equal 23, see? And then move 1 to the other side, we have 2x equals 23 minus 1, which give us 2x equals 22, then divide it 2 for both sides, we got x equals 11. This is uh, beautiful, hey? So that means the x is 11 here. And then let's double check, okay? So before reaction, you have 1 plus 11 times 2 is 22, which is 23. This part is 23 before reaction. Now after reaction, 23, balance. So this method, you need to remember this one. Okay. Try another example. The first one is balance carbon. That's easy. 12 carbon, 1 carbon, multiply 12. By multiply 12 to carbon dioxide, 12 here. And second step, balance hydrogen by multiply not the metal, okay. Twenty two two. So you multiply eleven, right? Multiply eleven to H two O. So uh, this way we figure out the balance carbon hydrogen. And last step we need a careful balance oxygen doing the same way as the uh, previous example. See, we write down 
before reaction, you have six oxygen because, as we said, we don't want to put any number here because carbon and the hydrogen already balanced. We just figure out this number. So you have six oxygen, you have six oxygen, plus how many oxygen we, we need, how, what the number need to put here. So we put 2x equals 2. This is 12 multiplied 2 is 24 plus 11 multiplied 1 is 11. So we have 6 plus 2x equals 35. Then we solve it. We got the 2x equals 2. Move 35, uh, move 6 to the other side, get 29. So we divide it by 2. You got the x equals 14.5. Wow. This is the, maybe you confused why you got the 14.5, but it doesn't matter. Let's say because 0.5, we can make its whole number. Let's write down this 14.5 first. Then we figure out if we have one more extra step. So to figure out to make this 14.5 becomes to whole number, we only need multiply by 2. Double it becomes 29, right? Once you multiply 2 for this number, like balance equation, you need to multiply each of them by 2. So uh, this is the make us easy. Okay, we do multiply by 2, multiply by 2, this is multiply by 2, multiply by 2, multiply by 2, multiply by 2. Okay, and finally, we figure out the number here is 2 C12 H22 O6 plus 29 oxygen and produce the 24 carbon dioxide and the 22 water. That's the new equation we can write down as this one. Okay, C12 H22 O6 gas plus this is the another color to this one. Okay, and plus, this is 29, should be 29, and oxygen gas produced, and this is 24, and multiply carbon dioxide gas plus, this is 22 water. Vapor. That's we have everything. We can check this is a balance. This is presented by White Sky. Thank you.